It is Friday again, and that means we have some new movies in theaters. And Linda Cook is here rubbing her hands together <laughs> to give us a Can't review wait. of two films. <laughs> Linda, it's so good to have you oh. back in the and Now, I have to ask studio. you something. When you were a little yeah. kid, did you know who the boogeyman was? Did you know there was something under your bed, maybe? That I was always you? afraid to look under the bed. I was the too. I was mm. too. And, you know, they say your teddy bear yeah. keeps off these, you know, monsters when you're a kid. Well, I like this update of the concept concept of the boogeyman. This is based on a 1970s short yeah. story, one of my favorites actually, by Stephen King, none other than the king of horror. Yeah. And there's this is a little bit of a twist on it. Now, Bettendorfer's um, Scott Woods, and, uh, or Scott Beck and Brian Woods, I should say, wrote this with another screenwriter. Mm -hmm. So this just, you know, they continue to expand their repertoire on horror. And the idea of this is that two girls, one a teenager, one a little younger, have lost their mom mm. and they're sort of haunted by this but the older girl realizes it may be more than just trauma that's haunting this family there may be a real monster out there oh. that gets you when you're vulnerable i like the idea of the trauma the idea of vulnerability and i like the way the movie ended um and i won't tell you whether there's a monster or not because you just yeah. have to go see it for yourself well, how many stars do you get three this out movie? of four and i really enjoyed this It's rated pg-13 so it's creepy but not so much okay. that you go home and have nightmares that's good so yeah. so our native the natives did really good on this right. movie right right <laughs> they did they did congrats guys <laughs> congratulations well our next movie is uh the, the movie Machine, <laughs> based on, on the incredible story of what? Burt Kreischer, who is a, a stand-up comic, that's him there, sort of undressed, um, <laughs> has made a name for himself for the last few years by telling a tale that may or may not be true about his trip abroad during his college days and how he came to be affiliated with the Russian mob mm. and called The Machine. This comes back to haunt him 20 years later when at his daughter's 16th birthday party, a couple of Russian mobsters show up and say, we want back what you stole from us 20 oh. years ago. And they kidnap him and his dad, played by, get this, Mark Hamill of Star Wars fame. Nice. This is one of the weirdest concepts for a movie I've ever seen. Sometimes it works, though. I thought it was going to be terrible. I realize this is faint praise, but I laugh more than I thought I would. Yeah. So I will say, for if you're a fan of Burt, you need to see this. If not, it may or may not work for you. Definitely grown-ups only on this one. Yeah, rated it looks R. Like <laughs> <laughs> How many stars? Two out of four. It's okay. And you know what? If you want to get in from the rain or the sun or just want to rest for a couple of hours, maybe this is up your alley. Maybe not. But I think if you know enough about him uh, before you go, you can make that decision. Sounds good. And you can see this in theaters. Yes, both are in theaters. Awesome. Thank you so much, Linda, for sharing your expertise <laughs> with us. Thank we really you. appreciate it. <laughs> And uh, you can get Linda's full reviews at ourquadcities.com.